What's the crack guys? So today I'm going to be installing a sun strip on the Drift FC. So I was messing around on the computer, coming up with funky designs. I came up with something that I thought was pretty cool. So I ordered two versions of it. One's a solid sun strip, which most sun strips seem to be. But um, I also ordered a transparent one. Because I like the idea of actually being able to see out your window and not completely wrecking all visibility. Because most sun strips are just an opaque sticker. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of that. Also, the windscreen in the FC is very small, so when you put a big sun strip across it, it wipes out all your visibility. We'll have a wee look at the sun strip, and then I'll show you how we're going to install it. Ideally, you need two people for this, but it is on the drift car, so it doesn't need to be 100%. Uh, so I'm just going to do it by myself. Obviously, we have Bailey there. We don't know how much help he's going to be, but we'll bring him out anyway. That's the sun strip. So design came off with the DTL drive travel live. Unlimited soup. Um, so it's actually transparent, it doesn't really show on this because of the white back. I'm hoping this actually comes out way nicer than just opaque sun strips. So that's what it looks like beforehand, no sun strip. So first things first, you need to get the windscreen completely clean and then around that area clean so you get no dirt behind your sticker. Um, there's the FC looking mint and no sunscreen. So this is what it looks like now. Let's see what it looks like when we get the finished product. So very basic stuff needed for this. Your sunscreen, soapy water, some form of blade. Um, you need like a squeegee, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna use a credit card. And obviously you need microfibers to clean everything. I'm gonna use a credit card wrapped with the microfiber as my squeegee. Just spray everything down with soapy water and try and get all areas that you think the back of the sun chip might touch. Just wipe everything down with a microfiber. It doesn't need to be dry, it just needs to be clean. So that's about roughly where I want the sun strip to sit. You can't see it at the minute, but the FC windscreen is very curved, which actually eats quite a lot of the sun strip out. In here is really shallow, but out here is really deep. So it actually makes it quite difficult to fit a sun strip nicely for the FC. It's just pretty windy today, so it's pretty hard to get that actually sitting on the screen. That's why I've tucked it in to the doors. Definitely, if you have two people, this would be so easy. So I'm just going to trim this down a bit to make it a bit easier to work with. So what I've done here is just put a bit of masking tape on the windscreen so I can level up the side of the sun strip to that side. So I'm just going to take this off, measure that gap and do the same on that side. And that means I have some form of clear guidance to where I want the sun strip to sit. There's a straight line just with masking tape to give me a reference point. Just spray everything down with the soapy water. This is just so then you've got um, a slidey surface for the sticker to move around. And then on this side it all down anywhere you think the sticker might come in contact. This is the part now where it's going to become difficult to do it with one person but it is possible we've done it before and that's just uh, unrolling the sticker and spraying the back of it. If you take your time and you're careful you can't do it so that's the sun strip so we're just going to peel the sticker off the backing paper as we're doing that spray some soapy water and start laying it down on the car. As you can see this is not going to be easy just with one person. So that's where the sun strip's hopefully going to sit. Um, I'm going to peel back the back of paper and soak it with the soapy water and then we can move it into place and brush out all the air bubbles. So that's like a rough cut around the edge, just need to squeegee all the water out and get it into the nice in the edges. It's actually hard to see the bubbles uh, on camera, but in real life you can see them really easy and you can see where you need the squeegee. So I'm going to squeegee all the water out and we'll tidy this up and see what it looks like at the end. There's the finished product. It's not as clear once you've got the white backing paper off the sticker, but I actually quite like it because it's quite subtle. From the distance it just looks like a black sun strip. You can completely see through that. So that doesn't wreck your field of vision at all. Yes, you can see it, but you can see right through it. You know, something was to come in, or you'd see lights through it. So, so it didn't work out exactly how I thought it would, um, because the design on the outside is actually very difficult to make out. But from the inside, you can see out, which I'm happy with. So there's the sun strip installed. It's quite quick and easy to do. Definitely would be a lot easier if you had two people. Uh, but hmm, let me know what you think. If you think it's okay or not. Uh, I can see why other companies don't make transparent sun strips because the design just doesn't show. So 
So as you can see, fitting a sun strip is very easy. You can do it with one person. It'd be a lot easier if you had two. The transparent sun strip sort of worked. I like it. Um, the sun strip's quite subtle, so you can't see the design, which is probably the only downfall. I would have liked it if you could see the unlimited super and the, the design a bit clearer. But it lets light in through the windscreen, so you can actually see when you're driving which is better than having a cool looking sunscreen but not being able to see out of the actual windscreen. So staying on for now, I like it. Uh, let me know what you think. So if anyone wants one, just send me a message and I'll hook you up. I do have a solid version, so obviously the design is a lot clearer. So it, I do have both the transparent one uh, that I put on the drift car and I have a solid one that I haven't yet installed. So let me know what you think guys, if anyone wants one. Like I said, just ask and I'll sort you out with one. As always guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned. See you.